Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm coming on with what I think is episode 9 of the Altered Book series. Um, I'm in a bit of a different filming setup so I'm sorry if I have, if I put some things off camera and that. I'm actually cat sitting for my daughters and I've kind of hobbled together this um, uh, filming setup so I could finish this Altered Book series whilst I'm here and uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway. So this is the second episode where we are doing the ephemera. I said at the end of the other ephemera episode to just get your some bits finished because um, you can make some off screen. We're still going to be making some on camera, just a few little bits, but mainly I'm just going to be putting them in, finishing it off um, so that then we can get on to finishing the cover, which will be the last thing to do. <clears throat> so let's get started. So we were here. Um, we did this one last week. This is using the collage masterboard. Um, I used a little bit of coffee dyed paper here that's um, decorated. I had this little piece that's from one of the uh, journaling kits that I'm using. I just backed it with some book page. <clears throat> I left the edge raggedy. I'm sorry if you can see like sun. It's just where I'm filming. It's the only place where I can do, really do it. I just thought that fitted in there, stitched around it. This was another piece of ephemera from one of the journal kits I'm using. We did that last week. We did this leaf last week. Large journaling card last week as well in there. Let's turn that that way so I can get that in. <clears throat> and then, so we're onto this page. So I've got a double pocket here. So um, I found this cute shopping list it's in this kind of craft color which i really like so it's like a brown eco one um and i love putting these in my journals one they're extremely thin you can decorate it just like you would a guest check a tag or anything else but also i just actually because i love lists so i like to add these to my journal so that i can have a list in my journal that i can work with um, and you can write on the back of these and all that. So that I'm just going to put in. I've just inked around it. I'm just going to put it in there like that. And then again, this was another tag from one of the journal kits I'm using. And I've just inked around the edge and used an eyelet at the top. Don't worry if you don't have eyelets. You can use whole reinforcers. You can use um, a punch. To give yourself like a whole re reinforcer look or you can just leave it i like eyelets i like that touch um so i use them a lot i'm not going to put any thread in there because this is a uh, chunky um so okay so we did this one on camera as well just look at that i'm wondering if you can see that because of the light it's just really showing up now the glitter and everything oh it's so pretty so we did that one on camera and then, um, so I've got a little pocket here and I found in my stash, again, this is just from a digital, I don't know where from, it was just in my stash. It's a little postcard and it's already back, so I inked around it. I was wondering, do we want to put like something on there, like a leaf? It's just going to tuck in behind that pumpkin like that, but I might not. I quite like it like that. Um... I don't know, I've got my little ephemera pieces here. I've got some little leaves. I don't know, I think I like it like that because this page is quite busy with this and then over here there are leaves. And then we've got two pockets here. So I pulled out for my um, ephemera, I pulled out one of my scrappy pads. I love making these. Just take a piece of scrapbook card that you've got left over. Doesn't matter how big or small, I've made them tiny. And then this one is all vintage book pages and some music pages. Now, I have to admit, I've already used some of this so you can see how thin it is. I do make them chunkier. I love using these. So I just make them when I'm, you know, just sitting down some day. I just pull out my, my scraps or if I'm uh, sort of lacking creative mojo and I just want a quick and easy project to do I just make these and then these are great because I tear off the pieces and I use them in my journaling so I'm going to put that in there now I've stitched on mine you wouldn't need to stapling would work just as well 
And then this is another piece from one of my um, journaling kits that I've used in this project. I'm just going to pause you a minute. Sorry about that. So this is, again, just another journaling card. I've backed with vintage book page, inked, rounded the corners, and that page is just finished. I think it looks really good. So in this page, we have the double pockets. So I found an envelope in my stash. These are super easy to make anyway. I really loved this red. It worked really well with the red in the stamp here and in the washi and in this mushroom bell. That's what it is. Um, and so I just inked around it. This is a stamped image on some canvas that, again, I did years ago, it must be now, um, that I'd inked, stitched, added some Edith Holden and some leaves. And I like it tucked in that way. I just think it adds some interest and pulls these colours. And then I had this from a vintage game that I picked up a couple of months ago. And it's barley and the colours go really well, the yellows and the reds. And I just thought it's very autumnal. It fits in there. It's something a bit different. So in here, I want to use a large index card. So we're actually going to decorate it. I've already decided I want this image on the front. So I'm just going to move the journal. So yeah, you can use large index cards if you can find them. If not, don't worry. Use a normal piece of card. Use something different. Just use some thick tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. I'm just edging this in walnut stain. And then I feel like I want some like collage bits in the background. So I have this little bag of scraps. I feel like I definitely want some of the wallpaper because I love the texture of that. So I'm going to pull that out. Um, we've got some more Edith Holden. So I want to use that. Um, ba, 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 ba. got some of this lovely hand dyed paper so I might use some of that because it's in green I might use this Edith Holden instead because I like which one I don't know which one I like so I'm going to wait and see and I may just see if we've got a scrap of one of the papers that I can um, use up because you know why not okay so we've got this it's got the little foxes here but we can do something about that so thinking Edith Holden just in the background like that I'm just gonna rip it at an angle put that back away and rip down this way a bit more I tell you, it's so strange filming. I feel like this needs to be cut off. It's so strange filming when you're not in your own craft setup. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and haven't got everything you might want to hand. I did bring a lot. But there's still always something that you're like, mm could do with that or I could do with that really love those roses so I'm gonna rip off that white space I'm just tearing I'm not even like I really don't think when I'm doing things like this that much I just rip and tear and then see what I like so like I don't need all that Edith Holden on there now I'm going to ink this in walnut stain too. So yeah, it has been strange not having my own craft room around me and my own crafty bits and pieces. Oh, I really like that. I'm wondering if I want some of this like to back behind that. I don't want it too chunky though. That's the thing. Let's stick these down and then see what I want. So... Yeah, this has been odd. I brought a lot with me. <laughs> it's not like it's a <laughs> it's a nearby journey either. 
um like the car was just full i actually bought my four i've got these giant 12 by 12 big canvas boxes um because i have this big wall unit full of canvas boxes that are all 12 by 12 and that's where i stack um store most of my craft at home and i and f four of them were just full of christmas craft bits which I really don't need that much Christmas craft bits. I don't do tons of Christmas crafting anymore. I do obviously do the December daily, but I don't do as much. I used to make Christmas cards and scrapbooks and pocket letters and all that kind of thing. I just don't do as much anymore as all that. Oh, I like that there like that. Yeah, I like that there. Then I'm going to cut the bottom off. Um, I managed to get it down to three 12 by 12 boxes. Realistically, I could get it down probably to two if I was being really particularly harsh with myself. Um, but, you know, there's just some things that I'm still like, mm, I might want that at some point. So I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to use that green, I don't think. I just like that on there. Like that. And again, I don't want it too thick. Because this um, book is already getting super chunky. So I don't want it too thick. Um, so I'm just going to do that. And obviously I brought all this with me because I really wanted to finish this while I was away. Because by the time I get back, it will be full on Christmas craft time. So, and there we go. And I'm just going to edge that. My walnut stain. The whole tag. A tag, it's not a tag, it's an index card. It's already tea dyed, but it can still do with a bit of inking. And then I want one of the fabric, oh, dropped one, one of the fabric um, pieces on the end of that. I mean, that's quite a nice one with the green and the red, maybe right in the middle. Let's just go with that one. That's the one I've pulled out. That's the one I'm going with. A lot of thread there. Let's trim some of that thread. <sighs> so, yeah. So, I don't know. Which way round do I want it? I think I want it this way round. So, I really wanted to get this finished because we really will be in December by the time I get back. And I just want to be starting... December daily and all that kind of thing and I also have a commission journal that I'm working on so I want to be able to focus on that so there we go guys um, I think that looks really cute and it came together super quickly um, so let's get this back and then that will pop in there like so the fabric just sticking out again a bit I just think that looks really lovely okay so next page so on this page we had a large pocket and I just pulled out one of these um, sheets from a vintage nature book it's got all the acorns and the oak leaves on there it actually had chestnuts and that on the other side but I preferred this side and I just stuck one of those corrugated spare pieces that I've stitched and also backed it so that is a journaling space right there that fits in. And then because there's already fabric on that page, I didn't want to add another piece of fabric. But I think that just looks really good just there. And then here, guys, we've got a side pocket and a top pocket. So again, I took um, an image out of a vintage nature book of this cute fox. 
and I backed it onto again some vintage book page. I left the top raggedy because I liked that, stitched all around it, added some fabric that's just going to pop in there like so and we can move it wherever we want. I like the fact I can see the number down there. <clears throat> I've moved it up a little bit because then it's with that and we've got a lot down here. And then I put together another one, another one, another one, another one of those negative journaling cards, negative die cut journaling cards um, with this great, there is actually um, like a bronzy mica on there. I don't know if you're picking it up. But, and again, I didn't add fabric or anything like that. That just tucks in. It does tuck in. There we go. And you just see the leaf. The yellow here picks up the yellow here and the yellow and orange in the stamp and a little bit in the tab. So that's that page. Here we have a pocket here and we have the side pocket here. So in here, once again, I just took some decorated dyed paper. This one I folded slightly, ripped that edge and inked. Again, a great way of adding dec decoration and journaling space, but without bulk. And this one, I made one of these cute tags that I saw on Camilla Crafts. I will link the video down below where I saw her make these. So simple and easy to make. Um, did a bit of decoration. This is vintage music paper. I did some decoration. Um, backed it with some tea dyed paper and topped it with a little tab that I haven't stitched and then just in this pocket I've added another piece of ephemera from one of the journaling kits I've been using I like the way the acorn pops out it hides behind there so it almost looks like more foliage from here it kind of blends in and then the acorns here pick on up the acorns over here and they also pick up the walnut stain and the brown on this page so i really love how that looks on here we've got a top loading pocket and again i'm going to use an index card for this um, because it's getting chunky so i've got this from a vintage book page it's actually a fennec fox and a red fox but i thought it would go really cute like if i tear it down and rip around it it would go really cute on this index card so that's what i'm going to attempt to do without taking this little fox's ear off um because you know we don't want to do that and then we're going to put that in this pocket again because this is so bulky and chunky at the moment i don't want too much bulk in the decorating i really want this bottom bit ripped off i do not know where guys but my long steel ruler has disappeared i brought it i was using it yesterday and now i can't find it <laughs> and it's they're very frustrating let's put it that way so that can go like that and then let's pull out some of that edith holden that i was using on the other one or actually no i know what i'm going to do i am going to use a scrap from one of the um papers we were using so i'm going to use a really lovely scrap from one of those so hold on guys i will be back in a second so i've got these two and i just want to see what works better do i like that that does pick up all those cut oh yeah right i'm not even going to try that one i'm just going to use this one and um i'm just going to glue it on so let's do that so i hope you guys are good wherever you are let me know what you're up to um yeah this will be finished soon i already have plans to do another altered book but that will be next year and i'm hoping um i'm planning to do that with um 
more complicated pages I want to kind of challenge myself to do you know other bits and bobs oh, there we go just pressing all that down it's so annoying that I can't find my ruler guys so you just gotta watch me cut 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 when we add rip and tear so I could get that little edge There we go let's just make sure that's really stuck down and then I'm going to stick this on and then just trim some of the edges but I'm going to use walnut stain on it first just get those top edges to really give definition between this page and the one below it so yeah I've really enjoyed making this little altered book. It's been so much fun. And like I said, I find it challenges me because I would normally add a lot more bulk and a lot more ephemera and all sorts and really stuff pockets. But in altered books, oh gosh, some of the page came off in that one. I didn't check my glue. That's all right. I'm going to put it down a bit further. Make sure I get the fox's tail and then I can rub that off. Maybe I'll put a leaf over that. That's not even straight. Come on, Belle. What is wrong with you today? More cutting. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it challenges me, makes me think a bit differently, makes me think about how I can add texture and dimension, but in a way that doesn't add... can't even cut today. Bulk. Because altered books do not like bulk unless you have a large altered book. Right, I think I'm definitely going to put something over that. But that's okay, we can fix it. Not a problem. So again, looking at some Edith Holden. And that would go along there. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's ink up the Edith Holden. Just fix it. Can we fix it? Yes, I can fix it. <laughs> Be careful. For that famous children's TV show. Oh, my kids used to love that when they were little. But now they've changed him. Have you seen that? It looks a bit freaky now. <laughs> My kids preferred it when it looked like um like an actual cartoon. Just wondering if I want a leaf on there. Like well, I'm gonna put some. I suppose I could put it that end actually. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna add that too just because I like it. And that's as good as reason as any. So, yeah. I hate that when they do that to cartoons, but they say they're going to mod modernise them. And then you look at it and you think, oh, should have just left it way alone. It looked good the way it was. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. So now, because it's in one of these top loading pockets, I also want a piece of fabric. And I only want a small one, so this one will do. But I'm going to add it to that end. And that's fine. It doesn't matter if it's on the end. I like the way that looks. So let's add this, and then we can get it in the pocket. Oh. I actually really like how this came out, guys. It's quick, simple, but effective. Look at that! With the little baby foxes. Well, they're not babies, but everything's a baby at the moment. To me. I think it's because we are in the process of looking for a new cat. 
and I went to a adoption agency the other day um, for what they call a cake and cuddle day where you can go in and meet some of the animals that they've got some of the cats look guys look how that and I love how that little that little brown bit of the fabric hold on hold on how that little brown bit of fabric there picks up the brown in the mushroom down here and the brown in the leaves it's that triangle effect that Barbara from 49 Dragonflies often talks about. It just picks it up a little bit. Oh, and I've also realised I've got some of the cheesecloth there that I've got down there. Okay, so we've got a large pocket here. So what I did was just cut down another one of the collage journaling cards. And because it had the mushrooms and bits, I didn't feel like it needed anything. And I just added some fabric. There's the back. And then we've got a side pocket here. So I made another one of those tags, which I've forgotten to stitch around, but that's all right. And I need, made another leaf tag. I hope you can see that from the um, laminating sheets. So we are going to laminate. We're going to laminate. No, we're not. We're going to decorate um, this up. So if I show you the other one, I've kind of just added labels and bits and bobs. So we're going to do something a bit similar here but I feel like I want part of the book page um, the journal kit so I've still got this one there's not like a lot of leaves in in close proximity there if that makes sense and I kind of want them Ugh, where is the pages I kind of want them a bit closer okay we've got this one this one's good let's use this one and then it's using up another scrap so i'm just going to rip down let's really rip this one across a bit more and this because you know i want the top ripped and then that will go there like so yep already liking that so let's ink that out let's rip this a bit more um, let's ink that up. I hope it's not getting too dark now. November, I'm here. I don't have my lights or anything like that. Well, my normal light. I don't really have a proper light back home either. But <laughs> anyway, so let's stick this down. As I said, this is vintage music paper. I will leave the video um, where I got this idea from and how to make them down below. They are so easy, guys, and just so fun and effective. Um, and then I feel like I might still want a little bit of Edith Holden. Because you can't beat some Edith Holden. For naturely type journals anyway. Right, have that down there. Oh gosh, I can't even pick it up today. What is wrong with me? So I'm going to have that down there like that. And then I'm going to pull out my labels and some little bits and bobs. That actually says winter there. We'll probably end up covering that up, but you know, I like it. Okay, so where are my labels? Here we go. So I've got a selection. I don't have any really big ones left. I have that one, that's a bit much. I've got the square. Realistically, I wanted one of the circles, or actually, this one might work. That'll work. I've got it slightly darker. There we go. That's a bit thinner, but it'll work still. Oh, now I've got labels everywhere. Okay. And again, these are just some labels. I use my stamps and um, just 
stamped them out on lots of different types of card and paper and vellum and things like that. Uh, let's have a look. I've got my leaves. I feel like that's too similar. The brown might be quite good. Mm. Stamps. I've got this green one that might be quite nice because I'm just looking at the colours in the um, the back. I know what I do need is some cheesecloth, so let's find some of that while I'm at it. Oh, look, there's a perfect piece that will do behind there. Probably don't even need it that long. Just fray some of the edges of that, like so. Then maybe a stamp behind. Mm. Hold on, guys. I'm sitting down. I need to look at it through the camera, see what I like. So I don't like that now. Um, got a darker green. That's a bit of a pop colour. But this one, this one's quite nice. And again, I'm not bothered. I'm going to cover his face up. I just want the green. And I like that. I feel like I don't want another pop of colour though because this is bigger. Okay, I like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's stick these down first. We can get that done. So yeah, these are so quick and easy to make these tags and they're just so effective. Um, stick that down. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, we're thinking of getting a new cat. Um, we've had a hard couple of years with our cats. And I'd say in the last five, six years, we've gone from having five cats to one. Um, and obviously this year in July, we had to get uh, one of ours again. He got very ill and um, had to be put to sleep. So, which was heartbreaking. I mean, he was like, I don't know, 12, 13 maybe, but it still doesn't make it any easier. So, um, I've decided... It's time because our other cat's about 10 and she's lonely and I'm missing not having a cat. Now, as the other embellishment on here has one of these fabric tabs, um, snippet tabs, I'm thinking of just making another, another little tab out of fabric rather than... Um, although I've got one of these with buttons, but the problem is they're just, it's just too chunky with um, the book. So I'm just going to make a little tab, rip this. So yeah, she's lonely. I cannot even remember the last time that I only had one cat it was probably it was probably just under 30 years ago I've always had more than one cat um, uh, right I'm not even going to put any extra on there because I'm going to be um, stitching this off camera you don't have to you can just glue as I'm doing right now you can staple you could hand stitch you could not add a tab you could add 
an eyelet. You could add a paper tab, like a whale tail or something. Right, I need to put that one back where it was meant to go. Right, and then I've got this little leaf and that is just going to pop in there. So you just see a little bit of it. And again, the brown here picks up the brown in the leaf. So I love how that looks. I will be stitching all the way around this. And the stitching here picks up the stitching in the squirrel. Oh, I just love how that looks. Next page. Okay, so on here, we've got a large pocket here. And again, I used one of the um, collage masterboards, cut it down to make a large journaling card. And on this one, I used one of the stamped images of the fox. That just looked perfect. And the brown that it was stamped on picked up some of the brown here. Used one of the large fabric snippets that we made. And that's just going to pop in there like that, guys. And then I had this little tag and I've just added some vintage music, a stamped image, inked around because this was a little pocket here. And I love, I absolutely love how that looks on that page. Um, yeah. And this page, so we did this in the last video. This was just an old Christmas card. I'm actually leaving this blank because this book's getting super chunky. And then I made another one of these um, die cut negatives journaling cards. And I'm going to pop that into there. The brown here picks up the brown over here and a little bit of the brownie red of the fox's ears. And obviously there we could have it that way if we wanted. I like it that way i like the darker showing because the darker bit here it's actually got some like green and that picks up over here so that just goes in there okay here we've got these two pockets and this pocket so again i just used some tags from the kits that i was using on the kits and i just added some eyelets i just backed them inked around them and I want them in here so that part of the leaf is poking out, just like that. Um, and I also, on these ones, I was going to add some trim. I've got this weird stuff that I think came off some packaging. I'm not quite sure. But I thought it might be fun to use on these. So let's do that maybe like I'm going to double it over I think and then trim that edge push that through find the middle like so pull that through and then where's my scissors gone cut that loop and I don't know, that's just a bit of fun. It's a different texture. I'm a bit worried that's going to come out. Um, but yeah, so that can go in like so. With the leaf showing. And then when we close the book, it's just going to be a different kind of texture. That's too long, but I'll trim it in a minute. And then this one, I think I want to use the red one on just because why not that's what I say so again I'm just going to double it over but yeah so I really want a new cat um, and we went to this cake and cuddle day with this really good sanctuary we got there first like as soon as the doors opened and I'm so glad we did because they only let obviously so many people in at a time because they don't want to stress the cats and um, when we left oh my gosh the queue was ridiculous um but i got to cuddle so many babies and then again i just used some dyed paper i folded this one well this is actually what i had left from my stash so again i inked around the edges that just fits in there and i thought that looked pretty and then I had one of these little stamped booklets. I've actually got a video on how I make these. And these are perfect for journals. Again, it's not too thick. 
perfect for journals and you can just tear and rip because they're perforated out and I just think that whole page looks really good. I will trim some of those off. And then we're on the final page. Can you believe it? So on this page, I've got another large collage tag. And again, I was just going to add this image, nice and simple. So I'll do that. This looks great as is. I wouldn't realistically need to add anything to it. But because this pocket is quite small that I made, I did just want to add a little bit of decoration. These, again, I believe are the Shabby Botanicals by Old Design Shop. I will have it linked in the description box so that you can go and check them out. They were in my stash um, and I just wanted to use them because I don't know about you, but I buy a lot of digitals and maybe use them once and it's just a bit of a waste then. So I want to use them. And again, I've got a little, can add a little fabric. I do like this one. So we're going to add this one. I like the oranges. The oranges in it pick up the oranges in the image. So I'm just going to put some glue on here this time. If the glue will come out. Don't blow me up. But I got to, they had quite a lot of kittens there, um, which is, hold on guys. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, they had a lot of kittens, unfortunately, because people don't get their animals spayed and neutered. There's far too many animals in the world. We don't need ours to be breeding. Um, I always get mine spayed and neutered, but that's enough of that. So I got to cuddle lots and lots of kittens um, and older cats. I just love how that looks and then we'll pop it in there and again I just love how the red and brown here picks up the red and brown in that mushroom so I am going to trim this because now I can see where it's gone to and let's have a look through guys so we have our front pet look how chunky it is it's an alligator mouth this is why you have to be careful <laughs> when picking vintage books. I really needed one with a bigger spine. But there we go. Never mind. I don't mind. So there. We've got a journaling card and some paper. We've got another journaling card up there. Got our leaf and a journaling card in there. Just a few little bits. Again, you see how just adding something like this. It's simple, but it gives a different dimension and look to your journal. It gives some interest. Little envelope and even these little cards. I mean, you could back that with tea stain paper. Um, I just like it in there. I might want to use it in something. Um, another little book page there. Another little cute book page there. And another one of those fun um, pieces. Great little double tag. Journaling space, journaling space. Journaling space, journaling space. <laughs> um, we have that fun index card in there. It's just easier for me to put it in this way because I'm on camera. Go down. Probably needs trimming a little bit. But it goes in. There we go it out a little bit so we can see a bit more of that large tag here another one of those fun tags little dried leaf so much journaling space another index card there you can see i've used lots of different things i've used book page i've used stamped images i've used kits whatever i've had i really love how that looks um christmas card <laughs> Nothing there, really. I could put another bit of dyed um, tea dyed paper there, but I'm not going to. There's some here, my little stamp booklet. These are great. I can literally rip these off and use them wherever I want in my journaling. Tags, and then there. Here we go, guys. So, in the next episode, we are, the next and final episode, we are going to be doing the cover. 
you will need some of the paper that you've got left over from the kits because I'm going to use paper for the cover. I'm also going to use a napkin um, and some music paper because um, we're going to be making a tag for the front and I'm going to use some fabric on the spine. So if you want to grab some fabric, maybe a napkin or you could use an image instead of a napkin for the tag and your scrapbook paper. Um, and then grab anything that you want to maybe tie the journal together with. And that's it for now, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.